guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I haven't posted in about a month. Well, let's do a TBR video because I have quite a lot of books that I actually have to read. And I think I've only been reading for about a year now. And I've racked up quite a big TBR as I guess you can see next to me. So I thought I'd go through all of the books. If you've read any of these books, feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what you think. So the first book in the list is by Cynthia Murphy and it's Win, Lose, Kill, Die. Um, I think it's just about um, a bunch of students in Morton Academy and I think the target obviously is obviously to be the best of the best and then um, there's some murders that end up happening. So I, to be honest I don't even have this on my list when I went to like go book shopping but the first few lines of the book actually caught my eye so I'm actually quite excited to read that. The next book is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've seen this literally everywhere. I don't know much about it as I can remember but I think it's about of about a group of people that have a load of like powers and one girl pretends that she has powers to get in but she actually doesn't and she has to keep herself like hidden from everyone and I think there might be some romance in there which I'm pretty excited about. The next book is Too Late by Colleen Hoover. I actually saw this online and I saw it in Tesco's one day and I thought I'm just gonna get it while I'm in here. I remember seeing it, quite good reviews on it so I thought I'd give this a go. The next book on my TBR is Cinderella is Dead. I saw this in the airport quite a few months ago and I didn't pick it up. Um, it's by Kaylin Bayron. She caught my eye quite a little bit with just like the storylines a little bit different than the others. But I'm really excited to read this at some point. I'm not too sure when. But I think I feel like it'll be a good book. The next book is Stephen King, Billy Summers. Again, I saw this on Hayley's vlog that she was reading a bunch of Stephen King books. So I picked this one up as she actually really um, raved about this. Oh, it says, Billy Summers is a killer for hire. He's among the best snipers in the world. So I feel like this will be good. I've heard Stephen King's books are really interesting and really well written. So I'm excited for that. Another book on my TBR is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. I did actually realise that she wrote um a good girl's guide to murder which i have written um and the second book is in this tbr but this has been on my tbr for quite a long time and i did pick it up quite a few months ago um when i was book shopping but i am really excited to read this i feel like it's going to be quite a good book and i like um a good girl's guide to murder i gave that i think i gave that four stars so i'm excited to read another one of her books that's a little bit different than the series that I currently want to read. Next in the TBR list is a very popular book that everyone's probably read except for me. Um, it's A Court of Thorns and Roses. I did start this book quite a while ago. I think I got to, let me double check. I got to chapter five and I kind of just lost interest, I guess. I did end up um, reading Fourth Wing, literally finished it this month, and I loved it, gave it five stars, insane. I feel like maybe now I've read Fourth Wing and I have a little bit of fantasy knowledge, I might try Quarter Forms of Roses again, but maybe in the future I'll give this book a go again. As I have heard, obviously, no bad reviews about this book, it's all been good. The next book on my TBR is The Silent Patient by Alex Michael Fields. No, that's not correct. I've had this, I bought this book last year, like a long time ago, and I just haven't read it. I've read all good reviews about it, and I just, I haven't picked it up. Maybe like now it's getting into like more of a spooky season, I'll pick more thrillers up that I have been wanting to read for a long time, like this one. I do intend to read this book at some point, I just haven't picked it up yet. The next books are by the same author, 
um, which are Farina McFadden. I did see these books in, I think it was, it might have been Hayley's reading vlog again. Never lie. And I've also got The Housemaid, which again, I kind of want to read that more October time. Um, these books look really good. I've seen all good reviews about Frida and her writings look to be amazing. The books I'm really intrigued to read, especially like The Housemaid's got really good reviews that I've seen. Everyone's been raving about that. So I'm really excited to see what her writing style's like. The next books are again by two of the same author, which is Catherine Foxfield. Uh, I've got Good Girls Die First and It's Behind You. Again, some more thrillers. Good Girls Die First is a murder mystery about um, people that come to the carnival. They've all got like hidden secrets from their past and I think obviously they end up coming out as people start to die. So obviously It's Behind You, there's a group of people that end up having to stay in the caves haunted by a ghost and whoever stays there till the morning will win £10,000. I think like, obviously something goes wrong like people end up dying um, so I'm really excited for these books. Most of these books I feel like these murder mystery thrillers will be really good for this coming season. We've got another art, Stephen King which will be... I feel like Stephen King's books are so good. So we've got Stephen King, If It Bleeds yeah, I think it's just like another murder mystery book. The next book hasn't been on my TV for very long. I only recently got this, I think, last month with a bunch of other books. Um, but it is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I kind of want to broad out a little bit more than thriller and just romance books. I kind of want to get a bit more of an imagination going when I read. And obviously, I've heard really good things about these. I'm kind of in, gonna enjoy, I think, reading this. The next book is Good Girl Bad Blood, which is by Holly Jackson, which is the second book in the The Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I really liked the first one. I think I gave the first one four stars, as I said. Um, so I feel like these are gonna probably be four star reads as well. I do have a friend that's read all of them, and she said the third one is the best out of the last two for a movie they're making of this series. I do want to read them before that comes out so I can kind of, you know, get to know the characters a bit more and I want to be able to know like the full story before I read the actual, see the actual movie. Um, so I feel like that would be ruin it for me if I don't read these first. The next book I've had on my TBR again for quite some time it is The Deal by L. Kennedy, which is obviously the off campus series. Um, I just couldn't get into it. I don't know if it was maybe just not the right book at the time or if I'm never going to read this to be honest. I will maybe try and give it a go but if not I don't know if I'm going to read this. If you guys have read these books let me know in the comments if you like them or not and if they're worth giving it a go. The next book is The Century by Emma Fulton. This is quite a new book in my collection. I only bought this again last month. I liked the blurb and um, what it was about. So we're obviously they're on the same. I think they're on. So yeah, she walks into a rehab where she can't afford it. And then there's a killer going around on the desert where the rehab is based. I've never heard of this book, never heard of this author. Um, but yeah, it caught my eye. So I'm pretty excited to have a read and see what this is about. The next book is Flawless by Elsie Silver and this I think this is the Chestnut Spring series. Um, I am pretty excited for this book to be honest. I started watching Yellowstone recently in, in the last few months um, and it's literally just been I've just been obsessed. This has got really good reviews. I'm very excited to start this series but the only annoying thing is I couldn't get the different cover. I think this is the UK cover but I couldn't find the other covers that they have which is really irritating um because I do actually prefer the other covers but yeah I'm excited for this one. The next book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I think it's more of like a fantasy she's obviously I think a princess and it's a little bit more about like royalty based roles kind of caught my eye but I've heard Decent things about this book, so I thought I'd give it a go. I suppose the cover's just pretty, 
like I just love the cover. The next book is um, Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I've had this for quite a long time, again it's another thriller um, which would be good for this season especially in the next month or so. Um, I feel like I might put this on my TBR for this month or next month to be honest, I do want to get this read. Um, but I feel like it would be a good cat and mouse kind of read and a little bit more of a suspenseful read than just like a normal mystery thriller that you usually get. The next book is, it's kind of a book that I've kind of been reading. Um, it's got some annotations already in. I'm not that far in. I think I am, um, I'm on chapter 14, which is 123 pages. And this is King of Wrath by Anna say a lot of things I'm gonna butcher it again but the the cover kind of caught my eye before anything which is kind of why I bought it um I just struggled to get into it when I was reading it I didn't feel like I wanted to read it I didn't have a want to pick the book up when I was reading it um so I don't I haven't DNF'd it I just taken a long break from it um, I think when I want something a little bit maybe more spicy I'll give, give this one another read next book is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Again, I've had this on my TBR for so long, like over a year. Like it's been, a, it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time. I just haven't picked it up, haven't been interested. I feel like maybe now it's spooky season, I'll give it another go. It's just over 400 pages, so it's a bit thick for me, but maybe I will give this a go when I'm in the mood for maybe just like some more murder mystery thrillers. The next book is again another thriller murder uh, which is Eeny Meeny by NJ Aldrich. Al Al I saw this in my last, you would have guys would have seen this in my last book video that I done when I done book shopping I did pick this up. Um, it's uh, about a girl that emerges from the woods, she's barely alive and then her story obviously shocks everyone, it is, ends up being true and you kind of have to figure out what happened to her. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. This book is None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. I've heard good things about her, I've never really looked at her books that much. Two women, two stories, which one do you trust? Happy that I did pick it up. It's meant to, her, her writing's meant to be really good. I've never really heard anything bad about Lisa Jewell. I am excited to maybe start reading more of her books. If I do enjoy this one, I definitely think I will pick up another one. Last but not least, we have A House With Good Bones by T. King Fisher. Again, I bought this up, I bought this quite a while ago, quite a few months ago now, I think June, July time. Wasn't looking for it, kind of found it in the store. The cover is so pretty, like it just caught my eye straight away. Um, and obviously the inside is just insane, like it's so nice. I think it's like a paranormal thriller, mystery, I'm trying to figure out kind of like what happened. So I don't, I haven't really read any paranormal before so I feel like this would be a good one to start. It's not too big as well, it's kind of maybe like an easy read to get through. So yeah, I'm really excited about this, I've never heard of the author either so. Maybe if I like this I can have a more look at their other books that they've written. That is it for my physical TBR. Um, I've only been reading for I think about a year now. So I feel like I've accumulated quite a good amount of books over that, that past time. Um, I'm trying to read a little bit more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!